Well, this is the place where we're supposed to drop our papers and start talking. Is it really? Yes. Let's do that. Ready? One, two, three, drop our papers. <gasps> hey, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the Good News Show. I'm Pastor Rick, and this is my wife. Cheryl. Great to have you with us. And you know, we've been having a little challenge shooting this show because Cheryl bought these beautiful earrings, and our daughter said she couldn't wear them because they made so much noise. Can you show them what the earrings look like? Yes. They're just, look, put them up to your ears. Earrings. They were just like, they're so gorgeous, but they were going clang, 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 clang yes. in the microphones. Clang, clang, but anyway, clang. welcome to the Good News Show. It's about hope for the future, healing for the past, and honesty for today. And if you have been watching us before, you'll notice that we've got a few new things on the set. We've got this beautiful picture yes. of Jesus here and the wonderful little lamb there in the front, the if you can lamb. see that. And so anyway, he's just sitting there going, reaching out to you. And you know, if yes. you're watching this for the first time, this is a Christian program. We are incredibly in love with Jesus Christ and his teachings and his His community called the church. And um, we, we should tell them, normally our shows are like half an hour long and we had to cut them back the last few weeks to about 15 minutes because we were in YouTube, time out, tell them about what it was. Yes, as you, if you've watched this program before, um, we always try to add a video in there and we showed a couple of videos, one right after another and apparently the music bed to the videos that we were using were heavily copywritten, like globally and so YouTube put us in a timeout and said the maximum time we could upload a video was 15 minutes. So if you had seen some of our previous programs, they were only uh, 15 minutes long. And then Pastor Rick was under the weather, so Olivia and I were trying to keep that going. But now we're back in full force and back doing in, back in good weather. We're back in good weather. And we're we not had under a wonderful it anymore. Fourth of July. We didn't have. We, you Speaking know, we of good weather, that was good. That was a good transition. Speaking of the Fourth. July. We weren't speaking of the 4th of July, but speaking of the 4th of July, there's a wonderful picture of 4th of July. We took some pictures of, this was an incredible event up here in the, uh, in the ministry. Mm -hmm. They opened up a new building called the Old Mill, and yes. there it is. The building's kind of behind you. You don't see it, but you see Morningside on top. But they had a ribbon cutting, cutting ceremony. And here's show some other slides here. Show you can describe what was going on. That's Gray Street. Yes, that's Gray Street. And they had some incredible talent and speakers and it was jam-packed in there. And Cheryl had a little table here set up. Yeah. And there's Cheryl over that's, there on the that's left. That's me. You can see <laughs> my elbow. <laughs> yes, and she had a table. And they actually had a Ferris wheel. Now, I know that may not be a big thing for you guys, but up here in but Blue hey, Eye. But hey, we're in Blue Eye, Blue Eye, this was like incredible. And Liv shot some incredible pictures. Liv was on the Ferris wheel when they had fireworks the night of 4th of July. So here's one of Liv's fireworks. What a beautiful, that's so pretty. And um, there's they another one. They did a one. darn good job on the fireworks. <laughs> I'll tell you that. They or, did. They did. Well, thanks, Liv, for those pictures. I appreciate it. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at that. And she does a little slow fade oh, in. My girl's boy, getting, we're getting so We're good getting here. fancy now. Well, you know, what we're going to be talking about is the word together. Yes. And, you know, I believe there's a God, and I also believe there's an enemy. And the enemy just so wants to break us up from being together. Oh. Oh, man. You know, what is the, you know, 50% of the world now is, you know, I mean, 50% of all marriages fall apart and, and uh, you know, uh, it's almost the same in Christianity. I was just going to say, and, and in Christian marriages too. But you know, so here, here's going to be our word for today. The word for today is together. Let's put it up on the screen. We have a little definition. Cheryl, would you read that Together, place? in or into one place, mass, collection, or group in a body as a group, in or into contact as connection or union, in or into association or relationship. Now we collected some good sayings. I love our good on, sayings. On together. Here's some posters. Take a look at these. I just love that little fade that you're doing, Liv. That's so incredible. It's so nice. Here's some posters. There it is. What is it? We may not have it all together, but together we have it all. I like that. Here's another one. Alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. Together is a wonderful place to be. Well, you know, I have my own little spiritual interpretation of the word together. You know how I'm, I am about words. You, you know, are I'm, a wordsmith. I'm, I'm a wordsmith and mm -hmm. I believe it means to get her. And who is her? I believe that her is the bride of Christ. Oh. Because see, you know, the the church is the bride, and 
Jesus Christ is the groom and he's preparing his, his bride and he's going to come to get her. And that's what it means together. But it's to get her uh -huh. come back for us one day. And, uh, you know, what does he want us to do? Uh, you know, they left us instructions on how to get along and how to be together. You know, again, you, you talk about me and words. You know, I, I look at the word scripture and I believe it means your script. If you look at it backwards, you are your script on how we need to act, not how we feel. Man, sometimes you, you don't want to be together. Sometimes people just drive you absolutely crazy. I mean, I'll talk a little bit about that a little bit later. But let's look at some verses that, uh, that tell us, that command us what we should be doing. Here's, here's a verse in uh, Psalm 133. Take a look at this. It says, go ahead, Liv. How good. Liv, I called you Liv. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Cheryl. How good. How good and pleasant it is when brothers live together in unity. Mm, here's one in, in uh, Colossians. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. I like this one. I oh, appeal I'm sorry, not Colossians, 1 Corinthians, there you go. I appeal to you, brothers, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with one another so that there be, may be no divisions among you and that you may be perfectly united in mind and thought. Now, here's the hard one. Here's the one in Colossians, which I was jumping ahead to, but this is the tough one. Bear with each other and forgive whatever grievances you may have against one another. Forgive as the Lord forgave you, and over all these virtues put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. You know, it just, mm -hmm. it's so hard. It, it's a challenge because mm -hmm. he's looking at us and, you know, <laughs> bear with each other. You're like, oh, gosh. You know, being together mm -hmm. sometimes is absolutely wonderful. Mm -hmm. Sometimes mm -hmm. you're having just a great time, and there are other times where, you start looking at verses like on long suffering, and you're like, oh my gosh, am I going to be able to do this? And you just want to pack I, it I up. I don't want to long I suffer. don't want it long. <laughs> I don't want to even be together. This is hard. But anyway, well, well, but we, we are, after all these years, the three of us are still a little family, part of a bigger family. Mm -hmm. And speaking of that little family, shall we bring her on so she can do her, her movie thing? I'll yes. let you introduce her. Okay. Well, if you are also new to this show, you know that this segment is where we bring our multi-talented, multitasking daughter on, Olivia, and she's going to do the good movie for this week. So Liv, take it away. And Dad, now for this week's good movie. This week's good movie is 13 Going on 30. It's about mending broken relationships, realizing what's really important in life, and asking what would be your do-over. <laughs> I watched this movie when I was 13, and I was just like, uh, <laughs> this is an awesome movie, so go check it out. And now... Here's my mom and my dad. Thank you, Liv. See, she talked about mending broken relationships. That's there we right. go with the verses and forgiving. And, and how do you... I, I love when she says, you know, what would be your do-over? Do you have a do-over? Would you do anything over? You know, I, I was watching the movie, and you asked me that when we finished the movie, and I, I said, oh, I'll have to think about it, and then we got on to other things. I think I would have to think about it because I think that would be pretty important if you had one do-over. Yeah, you could just do something all over again. Yeah. I don't know what I would do Boy, over. Boy, I think I would do more things without fear. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I think I would have eat, eat, not eaten so much so <laughs> I wouldn't have to work at losing the weight. <laughs> Every time I watch that rock and roll video, if you're new watching us, there's a rock and roll video of me in the 80s. And every time I watch that video, I go, the only thing I want back from those days, it wasn't the music, it isn't the hair, it isn't it, my waistline. I want my waistline back. Yeah. Well, anyway, getting back to being together. In fact, you know, when you think about the band, if I had a do-over, I think I would have enjoyed myself more with the band. Yes. I found myself being so driven for success. Yeah, now, we're, now looking back at it. You're yeah, like, you know, you get driven to do things mm -hmm. and, you know, you get focused on doing something and you forget how important, you know, relationships and being the, together. The being That's together. why I, I have a good, you know, a couple of good friends, Kim and Karen, who watch the show and, you know, we used to always say all the time, you know, eat, eat, enjoy the pro ETP. ETP, enjoy, e enjoy the process. Enjoy the process. You know, we're not getting anywhere. It's just, we just get up every day and we plug away and we survive and... 
And but if we don't enjoy the process, there is no there. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, as Christians, we believe that uh, you know there's life after death. But when it comes here on earth, we're not going anywhere, and it's just like we need to enjoy the process. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking about enjoying the process, and since we've got our wonderful picture of Jesus here behind us, here's a, here's a great verse by in, in Ephesians. Cheryl, would you read it for us sure. right now? From him, the whole body, joined and held together by every supporting ligament, grows and builds itself up in love as each part does its work. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, it's funny, we, uh, I, I said something to somebody one time, you know, we're the body of Christ. I mean, you know, you want to see the hands of God? Here they are, here are the hands of God. We're, we're His hands. And you want to see the feet of God? You take a look, we're the feet and we're the, we're the you know, the mouth of the ears of Christ and the eyes of Christ and we're the body of Christ. And I remember saying this to some people, I've met a few people in my life and I will say this with love that I think I know what part of the body they are and it's not a really good part of the body but they're kind of that way and we talk about enjoying the process we call it EGR extra grace required but you know I'm sure that I'm that to some people and you're that to some people to, to we everybody. We all have our moments, We all do have we not? our moments and stuff. Well, well, we got a good little video for you to watch and this one's legal and we're not gonna be yes. fined and we own this video. Yay. So take a watch of this video. It's about being together and you'll understand why we're together. Watch it, enjoy, and we'll be right back. so many questions about eternal life. I thought that was for all good people when they die. I try to be good, but sometimes I wonder if I'm really going to heaven. I, have so many questions. I want to do God's will, not mine. I don't think I can share my faith with my neighbor. I try to be good. They probably will have too many hard questions that I won't be able to answer. My son has really fallen away now that he's in high school. I really worry about him. His only reason for coming to church was because we went. I keep hoping he'll come back to God. It's really hard to believe that he gave up his life for me. Me? What was he thinking? Sometimes temptations are right in my face. Nothing good ever seems to happen to me. And it seems like my faith isn't strong enough to come against what the world has to offer. My sister is so starved for love that whoever shows her the least bit of attention gets all of her affection. This guy I work with believes in some offshoot of Christianity. Jesus loves me, this I know, but I don't feel so loved. I just wish it wasn't so hard to live for God. Sometimes I wonder. My faith isn't strong enough. I don't feel so loved. So many questions that I won't be able to answer. It's really hard to live for God. For God. For God. So love the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him will not die, but will have eternal life. While the video's playing, here's my wife in the background here. What are you humming? Sorry. We swim together. 
together. That's from Nemo. Mine was, mine the one I keep singing in my head. Imagine me and you, I do. I think about you day and night. It's only right to think about the girl you love and hold her tight. So happy together. <laughs> anyway, the turtles. Oh my gosh, that's who that is. Oh my Remember gosh. Remember we saw them at Epcot Center? Yes, and they were playing as slow as. Oh my gosh, talk about a band that, you know, you know. You wanted to wind them yeah, up. Yeah, they were just so tired. And I thought, you know, I was mentioning the other night, God has been so good to us in our lives, and I'm so glad I've had the opportunity to reinvent ourselves. I, <laughs> I think about bands that have, I don't know, five or six or seven hit records, and they spend 40, 50 years playing the same songs over and over again. I mean, I love to watch Peter Noon from Herman's Hermits when we'd go to Epcot and watch him. But I'm, I'm thinking the poor guy. For the 5,679th time, time, I'm Henry the Eighth for him. I mean, it's a great song. It's a lot of fun when you hear it once or twice a year. But, but you know, everybody got to make a living. Well, I'm going to give you a short little lesson tonight. Okay. This was one of the first lessons I learned on, on what holds us together. The Bible says love. Love, you know, and you know, love has been so overused and so misrepresented, especially in rock and roll music. Mm -hmm. If you can't be with the one you love, love the one you're with. That has nothing to do with biblical love. Mm -hmm. That has to do with sex. There's so many songs that you know artists will sing about love, mm -hmm. and it, you know, when I grew up, it wasn't about love. It was about you know, getting it on. It there was, was certainly no patience and <laughs> kindness right. involved in that. So I'm going to give you a little, <laughs> little short acronym. You know, my, you, you know, me with my acronym, I've got millions of them, you know, can't, C-N-T, convinced about not trying, mm -hmm. fear, forget everything and run, uh, what is it, hope, hope, hearing other people's experiences, uh, anger, a negative gushing, emotional release, faith, faith finding all, F-A-I-T-H, finding all I think happens, um, guilt, well, no, our favorite, my favorite one is family, father and mother, I love you. But this is not so much of an acronym, but little steps to do. Here's the, in the word love. This to me absolutely identifies what Corinthians 13 is saying about love. Here's the first letter of the word love. I believe someone who loves this, they listen attentively. Mm. Now, why is it that we listen attentively? You ever notice, you know, mm. maybe Liv will be sitting there talking and, and uh, you know, where we, talk, you know, and, 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 and I, I should say it this way. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I'm, she's driving me crazy. Ah. But anyway, like you sit there and Liv will be talking and you're like half listening. And then she, you know, you're not really being attentive. And she goes, so dad, I broke the window on the car. And you go, what? And now you're paying attention. We, we tend to, it's selective. I couldn't remember what it was. Selective listening. You know, to listen to people is very challenging. As a pastor in church, <laughs> I would sit there. I'd stand there at the door and people would be, be, look, <laughs> my daughter's in the room doing this now. I would be sitting there, at the, standing there at the door, and people would be talking, and I just talked for 30, 45 minutes. Now it's their chance to talk. Mm -hmm. But they would be talking, you're like, yeah, I'm sure you've gone through this. You're nodding your head, and you're doing your best to, to listen to people. It takes work to listen. That's why the Bible says to be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger. But I really believe that the, 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 the ultimate of love, and you're, you're a good listener, so is your mom. Your mom used to say, remember what she used to say? You, you never, never have, have to, to apologize, apologize for, for listening. listening. <laughs> you don't. But I'm telling you, when you really love somebody, it's not that you're like having a blast listening to them. It's not like, I mean, sometimes you're, I mean, you ever listen to kids? You know, a little five-year-old kid yes. wants to talk to you. And, 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 I, and, I, and I did this, and, I, and then I went, and, and, and you're like, you know, it's an act of love. You don't feel like loving, but the L stands for Listening and, and and sometimes people are very long winded. I know I can be long winded, but and you're listening to me right now, attentively. And you're being attentive. You're sitting in front of your computer with your cup of coffee. So I'm going to spend some time listening to you. Go ahead, talk. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sorry, we're getting a little punch drunk, aren't we? I think so. Okay, here's the letter O. Here's a tough, tough one. O is, what is it, honey? Overlook faults. Overlook mm. faults. That's, that's hard to do. <laughs> to see, it's to see beyond. 
beyond the faults that people are having. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, thank you, Liv. We got it up there. <laughs> you get thank you. We're back. Hi, folks. But it's like this, you know. Sometimes you know we look at Liv. Liv's 14 years old. She's doing such an incredible job. She's so loved here. She's so respected here. But there'll be moments that we look at her and we're like, "Geez, can't you do this? Can't you keep your room clean? Can't you blankety blank?" And I'm thinking to myself, I'm comparing my 14-year-old to my 60-year-old values. And I mean, I'm thinking. Oh my gosh, if my daughter was around me when I was 14 or you were 14, mm -hmm. I mean, if she had a movie camera, she'd be like, Mom, Dad, really? I saw you when you were 14. Seriously? Seriously? Yeah, she'd be. <laughs> but it is, it's really about seeing beyond the way people are. And it's that's so hard to listen attentively and not to look at their faults because that's so easy for us to do. Now, here's the V. V I enjoy doing is voicing approval. You're good at that. Just telling people what you like about them. I mean, if you're sitting with somebody right now, just cuff them and go, you know what I love about you? <laughs> Slap your neighbor. <laughs> Slap your neighbor. <laughs> what is it Pastor Kevin says? And the spirit of slap, slap came all over me. But that's what it is, is voicing approval. And, uh, you know, I thank you for those of you who have kind words, you know, for us and, you know, for uh, our show, and I, there's there's somebody who's watching right now. His name is Steve, and he's up in Maine. And Steve, you're always so kind, and I talk to you on the phone every so often, and you're always so kind and saying wonderful things about us. And you know, I just thank you for that. And there, I'm hoping that um, you know, if um, uh, Ted and Elise, there's another yes. couple that watch us, and they're just so very very kind to us we have wonderful viewers wonderful viewers and i and, and i'm hoping that my younger sister judy is watching because you want to talk about somebody that i can talk to i you know yes not a lot of people very this, easy to talk oh to oh my gosh if i'm having a rough day and i call my younger sister judy up she doesn't try to fix me she just listens and goes oh honey oh geez <laughs> and i don't know why i get off the phone and i just feel so good so if you're watching sister judy i love you and i love my other sister Jean and my brother and I don't know if they're watching, but but you know it takes listening attentively. Mm -hmm. It takes overlooking faults. Mm -hmm. It taking voices Voice, voicing approval. Voice approval. And the last one, I don't know if she, anybody wants to do it, but uh, we endure all things. Oh, there you snuck in the long suffering in a yeah, different word. That's what it is. The Bible <laughs> says love endures all things. And yeah. That's not easy, but that's what love is. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, I don't teach this stuff because, you know, you endure the things that your kids are doing. And hopefully when they get older, you know, we always say be nice to your kids. They're the ones who are going to choose your nursing home. Yes. <laughs> anyway, so. Here we go. Listen attentively, overlook faults, voice approval, endure all things. Thank you, Liv. There you go. We're back on the air. Well, you know, if, if, if you're having trouble doing those things, welcome to my world. They're not easy to do. I mean, when you do them, you go, I did the right thing. But yes. sometimes it's difficult. There's no doubt. But the rewards of it. The rewards are incredible. Yes, our, our strong relationships. So if you're, you are struggling with this, I'm going to put up a slide on showing you the Bible study. You can watch last week's Bible study. I began a new series, but we'll put it up on the screen. This is a new Bible study series I'm doing on Wednesday night. It's called You Make Me Crazy. It's survival skills for relationships. Let's mm. see. Last week I talked about... Um, Approval. Approval, approval addiction. addiction. Wanting to be everyone yes, love you. Yes, approval this, addiction. This. And the one coming up, you're gonna. I think you're gonna tell us how to do healthy boundaries, boundaries with people. Boundaries, setting up boundaries, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna be doing one called how to stop being abused. How to and, stop being abused. But you, mm -hmm. uh, you know, hope you mm. enjoy it. I know it's stuff that I've learned and I've applied in my life, and it's working for mm -hmm. me. And. Uh, but, uh, well, I want to thank you for watching and listening to the program. And I'm going to turn this over to complete the whole show here to my lovely wife, Cheryl. And uh, who's going who's gonna to take it away? Take it away. Yes, I will take it away. Take it away. Yes, thank you. Uh, you know, I wanted to add something new because we have incredible partners that, that support this show and pray for us. And... I wanted to introduce, I'm going to call it my good offer of the week, and this is going to be my first offer, and this is a genuine leather 
Bible I'm cover. Up a little bit here but, so you oh, can I have to put it kind of it. like up over my face here yeah, so you can so see it. Can see it. Yeah, oh, and, and not have it glare, but genuine leather Bible cover. And for this, we're going to be running this for the whole month. So with any gift that you send to this ministry, this program, you're going to get this incredible cover. And I just want to take this off because I want to show you. Uh, this is black, if you can't really tell, and it's got this little silver cross on it right here, if you can see that. And look at the little pockets that you have. And, and ladies, you might particularly like this because it's got places you can put, like, your cell phone in here, little Velcro there, and then the zipper pocket here. I mean, you could just fit your whole cosmetic bag and probably it, it right in up, there. It opens up. And we haven't gotten to that part oh. yet. I'm showing them all the pockets. And it's got a wonderful little handle here, so you don't have to worry about it falling apart. And then when you unzip it right here, and this fits a pretty good size Bible. And it's got pockets here and a pocket there. You can put your pages in. And it's actually very sturdy. And, oh, it smells like, you know when you get a new car? Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that leather smell but this is just a handy little thing so, so with for any, any, for gift any of, amount of, do, of, of gift any donation amount. any amount we're going to give you that's a wonderful. thank you gift back that's to our wonderful. partners so and we want to do this for the whole month now there, and then that's going out to our regular that is our, going our, our, to our regular partners yep. and if you're new uh, supporting this ministry for for any size donation love offering to the ministry we're going to give you our thank you gift in return and i'm going to have a new gift each month i think i would like to do that now can I'm, we can i do that yes, something new every you, month heck you can do anything you any week or <laughs> now you have know, it, now how do they, how do they so give cool. do they go to the website now you can go right if you once you finish the show go right to the website and you will see where it says you can make a donation right on there you can use right through paypal or, or you can send us a check and our address is right cool. on the website but but check this out and i love this you know i'm a black and silver kind of gal so i just love this and when i saw that little shiny little cross there i thought that was kind of a neat little thing that's so awesome. So that's my good offer for the week, y'all. And now, uh, as you know, I always like to uh, include our good stay segment because here at Morningside, the weather is incredible and you can come to Morningside and there's condos that you can rent uh, nightly and there's a picture of one of them. I mean, we've got apartments. We stayed in that condo, didn't we? Oh, we did when we first got here. Yes. The guy I who mean, built the building here, Mr. Crawford, that's his condo. Yes, and there. I always say you can come for you can come for a night, you can come for a month, you can come for a lifetime, and I will rent you for however long you want. That's one of my want. favorite buildings. It's yes, called the Tavern. Down in the down in Peace in the Valley. Yes. Yes. And if they want and to then, come and set up a tent. And if you want a tent, we have a tent in campground. Wilderness camping, it's beautiful, peaceful, and quiet down there as well. And there's another picture of one of our condos right here in the main building. So if you ever want to come, especially coming in the fall, I mean, the foliage you all Ozark, is going to be. That's Ozark Mountains. We are in the Ozark Mountains. We can't wow. get any better than that. That's awesome. Can't get any better than that. So hope you can come on out and visit with us. And yeah. now. Is it already time to close the it's show? It's already time to close the show. Oh, this is where we boy. magically yeah, make we have, our daughter. Yeah, we have to make our daughter come and, appear, appear. and stand in This with is like Jesus. Rumpa Room. We go five, three, two, one, and our daughter appears. You ready? Yes. Here we go. Three, two, one. Here Hi she is. Hi there. Hi. The ma magic of TV. We just had a microphone break, so in case you're wondering, they're passing a mic around. We like to be... Uh, Real honest. Well, anyway, thank you for joining us for good news. I hope you got something out of today. But we always like to end the show the same way we do with the, with the good plan. Here it is. You can read it along with us on the screen. The good news is that when we trust God's grace to save us through the work of Jesus, our sins are forgiven, we get a purpose for living, and we're promised a future home in heaven. The good news is God has never made a person he didn't love. Everybody matters to him. When Jesus stretched out his arms wide on the cross, he was saying, I love you this much. The good news is that whatever you're going through, whether physical, relational, financial, or emotional, God will turn it around. His delay is not his denial. 
He will make a way where there seems to be no way. So remember, make Jesus the Lord of your life today. And get a Bible so you can learn his teachings. Find a graceful church you can grow in Christ. And live out this prayer and just pray along with us as we, uh, we end with the prayer from St. Augustine, one of my favorite prayers that goes like this. We call it the good prayer. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is abuse, let me bring love. Where there is hurt, let me bring forgiveness. Where there is doubt, let me bring faith. Where there is despair, let me bring hope. Where there is darkness, let me bring light. Where there is sadness, let me bring joy. Dear God, help me that I focus not on being comforted, but that I may comfort others. Not that I try to be understood, but that I under understand others. Not that I am loved, but that I love others. For it is in the giving that we receive. It is in the forgiving that we are forgiven. It is in dying to self that we are born into a meaningful life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So tell people all about the good news. And remember, it's all good when Jesus, Jesus is Lord. Bye-bye now. See you Wednesday.